Hey guys, welcome back to Gypsy in the City TV. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, girl, you already know how I feel about you. I'm not even gonna get started because you know I love you. So today's video is going to be my February favorites. I didn't do a favorites for December because it was the holidays and I didn't do a favorites for January because January was just like a blur. And so February is like the restart for me. I think February 1st was a restart day for everybody, the do over for January 1st. So let's get into these February favorites because I have quite a few. I'm going to be starting with skincare. So the first product I'm talking about is the Shiseido Ibuki Multi-Solution Gel. It's great for roughness um, on the skin if you have any rough patches. It's really good for um, visible pores, large pores. I usually have large pores around my nose area, so I apply it in that area very often. It's also a salicylic acid acne treatment, which is great for breakouts and acne. For some reason, I've been breaking a lot in this area of my face, so I've been using it in that area. And I have dry skin, so usually products that contain salicylic acid really make my skin super dry, and I kind of hate using them. If I wash my face with any face wash that has salicylic acid, it usually tends to over dry my skin. But this doesn't, and it is a gel, which is really cool. And as you can see, I don't know if my camera is like, kind of sucks at focusing. Oh, oh, I've really been loving this stuff. I can definitely tell a difference in my skin. I've been using it for a month, and especially with my uh, breakouts, I, the days that I don't, that I haven't been using it to treat my breakouts, I feel like they just kind of grown and multiplied. Versus when I have been using it, the breakouts have been going away. So I definitely have been digging this stuff, and I love that it's multi-purpose. It's a multi-solution gel. You guys know that if I can get more than one use out of a product. I'm all here for it. So love this stuff. The next skincare product is the Avon Anew Ultimate Night Cream. It's a multi-performance cream and this stuff, like, I can't even begin to tell you how much I'm obsessed with it. Actually, let me show you how much I love it. Yeah, look how much I have left. None. None. Literally, I have scraped the inside of this entire jar. So I use this all this past summer. Absolutely love it. It does come with the day cream. The day cream is okay, but the night cream is everything and I use this faithfully all summer and then I got like new skincare stuff from different brands that I started trying out and I totally forgot it and I discovered it at the end of January and I started using it and I used all that was left. This stuff is amazing. You put it on and the next day your skin just feels like butter. It's so soft. It's so smooth. I can't say enough amazing things about this product and it just has like so many benefits, anti-aging, SPF, all this amazing stuff like if you're looking for a really like a heavy night cream that doesn't feel super heavy and doesn't make your skin greasy but and when you wake up the next day your skin just feels very moisturized and hydrated and plump I would highly highly recommend this Avon a new ultimate night cream it is amazing amazing I clearly need to get another jar next we have this Bior baking soda cleansing scrub this stuff wow okay so I've been having this for about I want to say three months three months I've been meaning to share it with you guys but I wasn't sure if it was even on the market yet because I hadn't seen any advertisements for it so I didn't want to mention it in one of my videos and the product has hasn't even been released yet because I I just I wasn't sure if it was out yet or not I don't know if that makes sense but you know you guys know that I get a lot of stuff from PR companies so I had gotten this from um, their PR company and I just wasn't sure if it was out yet or not so I didn't want to mention it as a favorite and then you guys go look for it and you can't even find it but I've seen it online I've seen it I've seen other people mentioning it so I guess it's out now this stuff is wow I usually I switch up my face face washes like every month but I've been so obsessed with this that I haven't switched on my face wash and as you can see it's I'm already halfway through it I don't know if you can tell but I can tell I'm already halfway through the product it's a baking soda powder scrub so it comes in a cap like this and when you keep it in the shower it, it's recommended that you keep it nicely tight and sealed so that the water doesn't get in there because that's what activates it so when you pour it on your hands it's an actual powder 
and then you activate it with water and it turns into a scrub and it does have um exfoliants in it so when you're scrubbing your face it, it, it is exfoliating your face but it has baking soda so when you're finished washing your face your face just feels nice and smooth if you've ever touched baking soda you know that it leaves that slimy kind of feeling on your hands and it leaves it has a similar effect on your face it just feels like you still have something on your face so you keep kind of scrubbing it and and putting water on it trying to take that off but it's actually just a smoothness that's left behind from the baking soda which is something that i've really been loving the whole concept of it that's baking soda and it's activated by water is so cool to me like you feel like a little kid when you're washing your face because it's like it's powder and then it turns into a scrub and you scrub your face um but yeah it's really awesome it leaves your skin smooth your pores definitely will look smaller over time and it just really smooths out your skin so if you're especially during the winter if you have a lot of rough patches in your skin if your skin is just kind of dull and harsh i would definitely recommend this to give you that soft nice glowing skin in the winter next we have josie moran whip argan oil it's a ultra hydrating body butter so I do want to tell you guys that a lot of the stuff that I mentioned in my videos is, is sent to me by PR brands for editorial consideration. Um, a lot of the stuff I buy as well. Uh, but I always just try to leave a little disclaimer in my videos just letting you guys know, by the way, um, some of the products featured in some of my videos have been sent to me for PR consideration. So this is one of them. And... Um, when I looked up the price for this, it is pretty pricey, like for a body butter, but lord, lord. Oh, this smells so delicious. It's $35 at Sephora, so that is kind of pricey for a body butter, but this stuff is wow. It smells divine, and it's literally whipped to perfection. I've tried a lot of body butters, and they're always thick and you put it on and it's like buttery and I want my skin to feel quenched and hydrated but I don't want to feel like I'm you know working so hard to put this body butter on my body do you guys know what I mean so it's funny because when I first used this I was as I was putting it on I was like wow this is whipped to perfection and then I read the back of the jar and literally the first sentence says this velvety lightweight and hydrating body butter is whipped to perfection and I just I started cracking up because I found that so funny but it has an amazing smell it just smells divine and it it's whipped to perfection you put it on it's so creamy it's so smooth I love it i love it i love it it's hydrating it doesn't feel make your skin feel super oily like you just put on this stuff and especially after you shave when you put this on your legs they are glistening glowing they just look beautiful so i really loving this body butter oh i love it 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 next we have dove's dry spray Actually, I have a, another bottle over here. Clearly, I love this stuff. This stuff leaves you nice and moisturized. Text the odors for 48 hours. It's not irritating. And when you put it on, it goes on dry. So you don't have that weird, sticky, wet feeling on your armpits. And it doesn't leave any residue on your clothes, which is the best part. Because I'm so tired of so many of my clothes getting ruined with my deodorant. So I've really been digging this stuff. If you're a little crazy like me and a little bit paranoid that you're gonna get, you're gonna sweat and it's gonna be stinky sweat, just put a lot on. I don't know. I, I'm just always paranoid that I never put enough on. So I'll literally be here like for like a good 20 seconds just spraying it on, making sure that I get it everywhere. Because, I don't know, I'm just like a little bit paranoid like that. Or may I'm just heavy-handed with my deodorants. You're going to be out all day and you're, especially like in the city, you're going to be running around. I could just throw this in my purse. And if I'm going to maybe an event later and I don't have time to come home and freshen up, I can just spray this under my arms and feel instantly refreshed. So I really been loving this dry spray. You guys should definitely check it out. If you haven't tried it out, try it out, girl. Next, we have this micellar water from a French brand. I'm going to try my best to pronounce it, but I know I'm going to butcher it. So if any of my French peeps are watching this, I'm so sorry. Um, Covent, Covent des Mini, Covent des Minimes. 
I tried. So this is a 3-in-1 micellar water. It removes makeup, cleanses, refreshes, and hydrates your skin. It's gentle and hyperallergenic. And clearly, I'm halfway through this bottle. been using this for months as well. And I love that I can use this to remove my makeup. But not only can I use it to remove my makeup, I can also use it as a toner. That's amazing. Ever since I've been getting facials on the regular with Rebecca Rich, who is my esthetician, she has recommended for me to use toners. And I definitely see the difference in my skin from using toners every single day. I know that micellar water is kind of trendy right now. Everybody's obsessed with the Garnier one or the other one from France that I can't remember the brand right now. But micellar waters are very trendy. And I mean, they're awesome. It's a great way to re remove your makeup. So what I do is I remove my makeup with a makeup wipe first. And then I go in with a cotton pad and I squ squirt this on there and I remove the additional makeup. Makeup wipes are great and all, but you can literally go through so many wipes and there'll still be makeup on your face. So I like to remove the additional makeup off my face with this. And I love that it's also a toner. So basically it has cornflower water, which refreshes, tones, and soothes your skin. And it has mallow extract, with mo which moisturizes and softens the skin. This stuff is formulated to meet the needs of every skin type. So whether you have dry skin, oily skin, or combination skin, you're going to love this. I mean, they freaking use this on baby skin. It says, can be used on baby skin, bottom, face, and hands. If people are using this on their babies, you know this stuff is great. Because especially those mothers that are OCD, they would just not use any random stuff on their babies. So the fact that you can use this on babies and you can use it on your skin... You know it's it's good stuff. In regular facials with Rebecca Rich. If you guys haven't heard of her, definitely check out my blog. I have an entire blog post about her services and how literally amazing this woman is. She recommended for me to start using toners. And ever since I started using toners in my skincare regimen, I have definitely noticed a big difference in my skin. If you're not using toners, I definitely recommend that you start using toners. Um after you wash your face and if you're looking for something that's a three-in-one you know how I feel about those products that get more than one job done I I really recommend this it removes your makeup it cleanses and refreshes like it doesn't get any better than that um, I'm already halfway through the bottle and I'm like plotting on how to get the next one and it's not it's not that expensive you know French stuff is usually very so this stuff is not, it's $20 for this bottle and it's 13.5 ounces. And I've been having this for like three months and look, and I use it every single day and night and I just love it. So check this brand out guys. My babies, the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops. If you guys have never heard of these, let me tell you a little bit more about these Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops. So how they work is that they are just pure pigment it's just pure pigment in these jars and so what you whoops what you do with this is let's say you have a tinted moisturizer that you want to get a little bit more coverage out of you would take the tinted moisturizer and you would mix it with about three to four drops of your custom cover drops and it would give you more coverage or let's say you have a you know just a regular foundation that is just Maybe it's a little too light for you um, and you want to get it, warm it up to your skin tone. You will take your custom cover drops and add a few drops to that foundation. And now you've made it a little bit darker and it can sue your skin tone. So I just been loving this. You can get so many uses out of it. My last, in, in one of my last makeup videos, I used it with a primer from Murad, the Invisiblur Primer. And I just mixed it with that and it, I created my own tinted primer. I mean, there's the possibilities with this stuff is endless. I think I'm going to have to do a separate video talking a little bit more in depth about this and actually showing you guys how it works because I think this is a must have in every girl's makeup collection just because this is so versatile you can do so much you can create your own tinted moisturizer your own tinted primer you can make your foundations uh have more coverage you can darken your foundations you can lighten your foundations like there's so many things you can do with this so and for the price um you can find this in Sephora. They're not super expensive. I believe they run about $43 for one jar. 
but guys this stuff is amazing you're gonna get so much use out of it and you're going to love your regular products even more just because you can add some drops to them and enhance them and and like I said make a tinted moisturizer out of a regular moisturizer check them out I've been obsessed I think I've said that about everything in this video but it's a favorites video come on next we have this blush brush from real techniques and there's a hair on it of course I love that it's tapered so when I swirl this brush in my blush I get the product all right here so I'm able to tap it right on the apples of my cheekbones but then I can easily bring it right back into my temples to really sculpt out my face and kind of give me that illusion of high cheekbones and it's very inexpensive oh my goodness I can't remember how much I paid for this but it was very cheap I have a Bobbi Brown blush blush brush and this is kind of old and I prefer this like 10 times over this brush like I even forgot I had this brush I pay no attention to this obsessed with this brush and I love that it's heavy at the bottom so you can stand it you can stand it on any surface and it just stays up and it's pink and it's so cute <laughs> Next we have this mascara from Essence. It's the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I believe you can purchase this product in Ulta and I just found out recently that Target is starting to carry this line so you can get their products there as well. This mascara, you guys know that I'm a mascara whore. I have a lash drawer with like over 20 mascaras. I love trying new mascaras. I love mixing mascaras and creating the perfect combo. I love finding inexpensive mascaras that get the job done and outperform expensive mascaras. This mascara is like three or four dollars and look at the wand. So it's, uh, what is this called? It, it is a tapered wand and oh my god, I wish I could do a demo. I have falsies on right now so I didn't use this mascara for the, to for these lashes these are false lashes but this mascara is so bomb it gives you full lashes it elongates them it does clump them up a little bit but you guys know that I like to mix my mascara so I love mixing it with a mascara that has a much thinner wand like the L'Oreal telescopic mascara and that way I can remove the clumps but usually I have to combine multiple mascaras to be able to get long lashes and full lashes but with this mascara I could just use this one alone and get gorgeous thick volumized lashes and I used this mascara in one of my recent videos so you guys can see the before and after there and it's super inexpensive I like this mascara better than this one from MAC and this is like 20 something dollars and this is like four you guys need to pick this up this mascara and the Jordana mascara the extreme volumizing something mascara are my favorite drugstore mascaras like amazing 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 you guys need to get this 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 is so cheap you, actually when you get this buy like two or three of them because it's so cheap why not and it, it just works amazing next I have these three glosses from Mali it's their H3 full lips serum glosses and the colors are sweet peach pink daisy and perfect nude and I have on pink daisy today on my lips let me apply a little bit more so you guys can see really been loving these glosses they're very glossy very creamy very pigmented and they just look gorgeous on all the colors that I got are pretty similar just because when I wear a nude lip most of the time I like it to be very glossy because I'm usually wearing a nude lip with a smoky eye so the smoky eye is usually matte so I like to pair with a nice glossy nude lip to balance it out and so these glosses are just super glossy super pigmented they just make your lips look so juicy and full because they're so glossy definitely stop by Ulta I know Ulta carries her stuff and see if you can get a sample or try it on at the store and tell me what you guys think I just I love a good nude gloss and these are definitely it these I have perfumes so the first one here is from Ralph by Ralph Lauren it's the love perfume and it's funny because this perfume, I don't really like stuff that smells super fruity or super sweet. I'm just not into sweet scents. 
um, or like stuff that's too rosy. I just don't like that either. This smells like this smells sweet, but it's not overbearing. Like I can put two to three sprays of this and I don't feel like I'm like suffocating in all this sweetness. This signature scent blends luscious red apples, sweet cotton candy, and intoxicating rose. If you guys are like me and you don't really like perfumes or sprays that are sweet and smell like roses, um, but you want to try dabble a little bit into that category without being overwhelmed, check this out. I think you will like it. And the next perfume is the Adidas Born Originals for her. I was actually pleasantly surprised by the way that this smells. I didn't think that I was going to like it this much because you think like, oh, Adidas perfume. Like, that's just weird. This scent has a unique fruity aroma that encourages positivity and creativity, which I love. When you first smell it, you kind of smell apricot and orange peel. And then you get a little whiff of coconut, candy apple and jasmine, and then... um. There's also a little cedar wood and olive wood and tonka beans. So this one is actually a perfume. The other one is a eau de toilette. It's a natural spray and this is actually a perfume. So the scent is a little bit stronger. Um, and it just smells really nice. A couple of my friends have complimented me when I've worn this. So um, if you're looking for something a little bit different, something that's not... Um, the typical perfume that you would probably go for. Uh, check this out. I really, really like the smell. So that wraps up my February favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I know in my November favorites videos, I mentioned that every time that I did favorites, I was going to name a top product from the entire bunch, like my top favorite. So I'm going to be doing that in this video. And from now on, I'm going to call it the treat yourself favorites. It's my favorite product from all the favorites that I mentioned and something that I definitely think that you should go out and buy for yourself and treat yourself. Treat yourself to it. You know, it's nice when we treat ourselves to things. Clothes. Treat yourself. Fragrances. Treat yourself. Massages. Treat yourself. Mimosas. Treat yourself. Fine leather goods. Treat yourself. It's the best day of the year. The best day of the year! You know, you can't wait around for people to treat you to something nice. You have to treat yourself to something nice every once in a while. Where it's the treat yourself must have item of this month's favorite video is the three in one micellar water i'm gonna link the website where you guys can get this i'm not sure if you can pick this up like at a drugstore i'm gonna do a little bit of research to see if you guys can get this outside of the actual website i'm pretty sure you could probably order it on amazon but this stuff is bomb it's a three in one you know how much i love products that are, do more than one thing Micellar takes off your makeup and tones your skin and refreshes and cleanses. Come on. And you can use this on your baby, on your baby's butt at that. Listen, Linda, this is a must-have. Definitely check this out. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe before you leave. What are your February favorites? Please, please comment and leave them below. Is there anything that I mentioned that you are also obsessed with this month? Do we have any favorites in common? Girl, let me know. Holla at me down below. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you next time on Gypsy in the City TV. <laughs>
that wraps up my favorite favorite February favorite. Okay, I'm just gonna delete this whole thing and start all over again because I fucking can't move myself.